What's up everybody? Welcome back to Aerial Assault and today we're going to be talking about my one stick setup. We're going to talk about the items that I use to build my stick, uh, everything that's on my stick, plus how I ascend and get up the tree and rappel down. To start off, this is a Novix mini stick. I think they come standard about 17 inches. Um, I have cut this down to 14 inches and kind of maneuvered uh, the top step up to the very top hole so the steps don't ro or the standoffs don't rotate, the steps don't rotate anymore, and move the bottom step down to the very bottom hole. I have a Dano double step on the bottom and a flat scout on the top. I chose the flat scout and I'll tell you about a little bit about that in a little bit as well. I have a gear tie on top that many people use as a handle and I have a circle in the top here and I try to keep this circle there all the time and I'll explain that in just a little bit and, and this is something uh, I've taken a little bit from everybody who does one sticking and kind of made some of those you know made my own process from watching this guy and that guy this is something I picked up on my own and uh, Austin Cantola actually just made a device to kind of do the exact same thing as this and you know maybe this is something you all or some of you will use uh, with that being said also I have Dano double steps on the back um, I think the only two sticks or the only two standoffs that I think really make great standoffs in at least the top of the line sticks um, are the Shikars and the Dano double steps um, Dano's standoffs definitely stick out from the tree farther than anybody's but I think the Shakar standoffs are plenty good enough. The only reason I did not use a Shakar was I didn't want to put the cam cleat on the Shakar. Um, but I have seen that other people are doing it and it can be done. If I had a really nice drill press of the house, I probably would have done that too. But also from doublesteps.com, and I'll leave a link to all this below, is this rope. This rope is made by Luke Daltel and he sells them their one stick ropes or rope mods i don't even know if they're on there as rope mods but i know it's a one stick rope uh you feed it you before you put your double step on you feed it from the bottom up into the bottom of your cam cleat there and then i did not choose the option to have a sewn aider and the reason i did not choose that option is because i wanted a little bit nicer aider than what was currently offered at doublesteps.com and what I mean by that is they have a nice webbing aider and it works perfectly. I've used the Amsteel aider before. I'm not a fan of Amsteel aiders and I do not recommend anybody get an Amsteel aider. Uh, that's up to you, but they seem to somewhat stretch over time and it's a very small area on the bottom of your foot when you're climbing. Can be done, I just don't prefer it. I use a three-step aider instead of a two-step and I got these from Backwoods Mobile Gear. I had him specifically make it so that it would just slide over and I actually tape it on just so it doesn't slide off. That's the only thing it's doing is just holding it on the step for transport. But as you can see, these Backwoods Mobile Gear Aiders have these sewn into the bottom and that's a lot of surface area for your boot to set on. It really gives it a secure feel when you're climbing up the tree. But anyways, let's throw this thing on the tree and I'll show you exactly how I use it and why I chose the items that I did. I am five foot nine, so everything I'm talking about here as far as inches and length, if you're around that relative height, it's gonna work out perfect for you. So if you choose my setup, just know that this is what works perfect for me as a five foot nine person. If you're six foot five, these steps and things are probably gonna be too short for you. But I have 17 inch step to step aider and about a 12 to 12, 12 inch step stick. But if you ever watch on Facebook, Jared Puget actually does a video. I don't like to just hang my first stick up here. That's why I have a three step aider. I'll go around the tree. And when hanging that first stick, I like to get it as high as possible. So I'll take this rope and you kind of lasso it up pull tight pull the bottom of your stick out set the stick and as you can see I'm five foot nine and the bottom stick is the bottom of the stick is probably about close to seven foot all right and because I don't like to give estimations I brought the tape measure out here and I measure this to my top step that's seven foot eight inches so on my very first move I'm getting seven foot eight inches which is pretty good 
All right, guys, and like I said, all of this, everybody does it different, but I'm trying to show you exactly how I do it. So the next step will be to show you exactly how I'm gonna use my saddle. I take my adjustable bridge and I make it to the length that it's gonna hang to about where my sternum is. Uh, that's just the way I prefer. Now the next step is gonna be to dig in my dump pouch. Whenever I open my dump pouch, the first thing I'm going to come to is my Dynaglide. The first thing I'll do with my Dynaglide, which is the rope that I use to retrieve my rappel line or my main line. I've got one carabiner on here that will attach to my saddle and the other that's going to attach to my weapon. I'm gonna use this to pull my weapon up. And then I'll wind it up and put it in my pouch until I'm done hunting and ready to rappel down the tree. I will attach this to the main line. Right behind the Dynaglide, I'm going to have my Madrock Safeguard and Carabiner. The first thing I do when I get to the tree is I'm going to remove my Carabiner from the Safeguard. Then I've got two pieces. So I'll take this Carabiner and hang right there on my lineman loop just so it's got a place for now. And then before I even climb, I'm going to grab my rappel line out and I'm going to go ahead and attach my Safeguard. And this, the, the way you route this safeguard is pretty easy. There's two figures on here. You'll see there's a little guy falling right there. If you can see that, yep, see the guy falling. And then there is a hand feeding a rope on this side. I don't think you can see that on the camera. But the side that is going to go to your tether or to the tree will always come down into the guy falling and then loop back up with the handle away as you can see so if i were doing it and i was getting ready to go into the tree this would be going up to the tree i've got my handle facing away on the left hand side i'll run this tag or this through and back up into the mad rock and then flip that over when I do that, I'm going to pull about four foot of cord into that. So now I have my mad rock. And as you remember, I took my carabiner and I clipped right here on my lineman loop. I'll reach down and grab my carabiner. And I'm going to take my carabiner and go forward facing through the mad rock so that when I clip into my bridge, that's right there. Now, before I do anything, I'll take this carabiner and go ahead and clip into my breech. And then I take the tag end of this rope, the one that's going to go around the tree, and I throw it right over the top of my neck so that it's out of my way and nothing is around my feet to where it can trip me. Now I'm going to show you how I climb the tree and what I do there. And maybe you can find some things from what I do, some things from what Greg and his son do on Stags in the Wild, some things from what Scott Hesterly does, and some things from what Luke Dalto does, SRT Saddle Hunter. If you don't mind, go give those guys a like on their page as well. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so now you know what I've got, my sticks hung on the tree, where it's at, where I'm climbing to, and where all my ropes are. I've got my Dynaglide here. It's connected to my saddle and to my weapon. I've got my main line thrown over my neck and at this point if you want to you can use a lineman belt and climb up. Uh, I've never used anything on my first move. That's just me. It's not that I recommend that. Take this throw line if you can reach. Loop it up over the top step for now and remember that little loop in the top of the, the handle? That'll come in play in a minute. But I'm going to climb up and I'll show you the next step. Okay, and I told you, remember that circle that we put in the top of our handle? Right here is where that will come into play. You're going to take that loop, or the end of that tag end of rope, and just loop that right inside that circle there. I like to do that just in case I can always reach that rope, and I don't have to end up letting slack more in my tether if I end up climbing too high. And like I said, I do not use a lineman's belt or a tether at this point. I just keep two or three points of contact 
on my way up and here's the reason i feel safe enough to do that when i get to my bottom step of my stick and the flat scout is at my knees i will actually sit on the top of the scout that's the reason this flat scout is important to me it also makes it much gives you much more surface area to stand on for your foot when you're standing and moving your tether so at this point i feel pretty safe i'm locked in i have my thighs behind that scout i'm going to take my triglide or my delta link throw my delta link around the tree attach it and then wrap my gear tie here that keeps my slack from sliding out and then at that point i'm going to stand up and on the bottom step again i'm tied off i do have some slack i'll take and loosen that and i do not like to put my hands behind this rope so what i do is i pull out on my delta link and i put my hand right up under it and i do the same thing on the back side i keep the rope up above my hand and i walk it up the tree and go ahead and step up onto my scout slide my gear tie up and right now I like to take and get my safeguard as high as I can so I'm pull it tight I got my tether right above the top of my head and my safeguard is about neck high at that point what I like to do is kind of keep my delta link on the side of the tree At that point what i like to do is i like to keep my delta link kind of to the side of the tree of where i'm climbing so just for camera purposes i'm gonna put it a little bit farther to that side and show you how i'd make my next move so we're pretty far over that way and the reason i do this is is some guys like to put their stick up under their tether i do not prefer that uh, I'm not sure why. I just don't like doing that. Um, this seems way easier and more comfortable to me. So I'll come to the side. I'm just going to hang here. I like to wrap my legs around the tree if I can. At this point, I'm exerting zero energy. The only energy I'll exert is from my, my core is when I'm going to bend over and pick up the stick. And this is where that circle comes into play. I've actually gotten a little too high here where I probably won't be able to reach that Schaefer so if I was too high which I'm not and I can undo this but if I was too high I could grab my rope here and it pulls right out now while I'm to the side I like to sit like this and I will take my stick and pull it tight right up under the tether take my rope up under the tether there pull it tight and because of where i'm at now i can reach that circle that i've got in my handle run this up through there now i'm set to start climbing again here's another reason i like a three-step aider now because of where i'm at my second step is really easy to get to i just lean out Put a knee in the tree, put my foot there, my stick is set. I'll climb up and repeat the process. All right, and before you come down, there's some important things you need to do. That dyna glide that I pulled my weapon up with, when I pulled my weapon up, I figure aided that in my dump pouch. I would use the, my small carabiner, lower my gun to the ground with it. Then I have my just slightly heavier duty, duty carabiner. You're going to attach it to your rope right behind your scaffold knot. 
Then the next important step is you have to remember to remove this gear tie from your line. That's what was preventing it from getting slack. You would not be able to retrieve your line if you did not remove that. Trust me, I know I've had to reclimb the tree. At this point, I can go ahead and remove my stick. So I'm gonna rappel down on my stick, use proper rappelling techniques, use your strong hand as a, or your right hand as a brake hand, use your left hand on the release lever, just walk yourself down the tree. When you get to your stick, what I like to do is I'll loosen my stick, then I take this handle that I use, and I don't even wind this stuff up. I take the handle that I use, a gear tie, loop it through my lineman loop, and just put a hook, and then there's my stick, and come on down the tree. Okay, and just as I did before I climbed, I pull everything in a specific manner out of my duck pouch for a specific use. We're gonna do that exact same thing now. I would put my stick up first. There's no reason for me to show you how I put my stick up, but just in case you wanna see it, I'll show you how that's packed. What I usually do is I take this rope and just lay it in the center of that standoff while I wind everything. I will take my rope ladder and I go right over the top of the standoffs here it's not the neatest thing in the world. And I have this bungee that Mike puts on here, loop it over the standoff. Then I take the rope. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And when I get to the end of the rope, I'm going to wrap everything. hold it in there and then I got everything like that and I'll take this rubber gear tie and I usually lay it over the back and just allow my Schaefer clamp cam cleat to hold it in there the first things first is you need to remove your safeguard I usually go ahead and take my carabiner off remove the safeguard and then I will put my carabiner back on it just so I don't lose it and they stay together. Then I'll take that and hook right back to my bridge or my lineman loop. When I'm getting down, I like to hook it to my lineman loop. Then, like I said, this is our retrieval line. We're gonna take our retrieval line and remember we undid that gear tie so that we can get slack in the rope. This is a straight tree, no limbs, so it should be pretty easy to pull down. And if you walk out away from the tree towards where you got it tied to, it'll be even easier to pull down if it gets hung on something. And as you can see, it's getting hung on that knot, or you may not be able to see, but it's getting hung on a knot there. And because I removed my safeguard, my tag end could pull all the way through that but we don't have to. We can just remove the delta link and start putting our rope back in. So now it's free from the tree. And a lot of people will wind this up on their elbow, wind it up like an extension cord. All I do is grab the tag in or the end. Sometimes it doesn't even all leave my pouch. If it doesn't all leave my pouch, I just start on the end closest to the bag and start shoving it in there, feeding it in so the bottom goes in first. I remember I do everything in a specific order. So the safeguard was hooked to my lineman belt. I'm going to unhook my safeguard and carabiner. I'll just leave them together so it's easier. And it's the next thing that goes in my pouch. Then the last thing I have to grab is my Dynaglide. I'll unhook it from my weapon. Then I'm going to take one end and I'm gonna take the carabiner and I usually lay that carabiner right over the back of my thumb like that or you can hang it right over, or you can hold it in your palm if you want. I like to hang it over, and then I'm just gonna figure eight, line that on my pinky and my thumb until I've got the entire thing up, and it will be the last thing to go into the top of my dump pouch. 
And as most of you know, one stick has been around for a while. I mean, guys like Scott Hesterly and Luke Dalta have been doing it a long time. But finally, in the Stags in the Wild video series, and I'll link his first video up here, Scott Hesterly shows Gabe Stags how to climb Gabe's 13, and he shows us all that a 13 year old can do it. Not only that, in Crocs. Um, it, it's really easy to do, um, but somebody finally showed the easy steps. Now, people ask me all the time, should I try it? I get those messages. And here's exactly what I have to say about that. There are certain things that you must do if you're going in one stick. One, you cannot grab any stick and go out with a daisy chain or rope mod and make it easy. It's going to be a bigger learning curve. The Schaefer cam cleat or a Harkin cam cleat is absolutely necessary, in my opinion, for me to do this if I decided to keep doing it. Uh, which I know I will. I pretty much scratched everything else. Uh, the cam cleat is a must for me. Another thing that I view as a must is a good standoff that gives you plenty of distance from the tree. Like I said before, I think the uh, Shakar standoff is plenty enough. The double step standoff is the absolute best if you're going to use a one inch tubing. The third thing that I think you have to have is a two or three step aider, but that's just kind of a given. Uh, I think there's some really good ones out there. You do not have to get them sewn in. You do not have to go to the double steps and buy a step if you don't want to. You can order a step and have it taped on like this if you want to. Is this a little bit redneck? Absolutely, but it, it works for me and I'm, I'm happy with it. This is probably about as good as aider as you can get. Uh, check out Mites at backwoodsmobilegear.com. I will link that below as well. And the final thing that I think is maybe not a necessity but it sure is a really nice luxury and that is the scout platform you don't necessarily need this to hunt off of you can carry a separate platform which i have done and um i, I think it works just fine but this is a extreme luxury when you're climbing the tree it allows you to have much more balance much more area for your feet to stand on and not only that when i'm climbing i like to even wrap my legs around it and sit on it so that i am locked to the tree when i don't have my or when i have tether slack i'm locked to the tree by sitting on this or when i'm not wearing my lineman's belt i'm locked to the tree by sitting on this or having my legs locked around the back side of the scout just what i like to do it's not what you have to do but anyways if you guys don't mind please go below hit that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment below what you think anyways until next time guys and thanks for being patient with me